Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We have got a Lego Disney princess set to build today. This is a beautiful one. This is Ariel's magical kiss. And this is when she's not a mermaid, when she has traded her voice to be a, a girl, to have legs. And she needs to get that all important magical kiss, the royal kiss from Prince Eric so that she can, well, so that everything can be all right. So we've got two bags here to build, but let's look at the mini dolls. We have got Ariel in her princess outfit, in her beautiful pink dress, ready to go out for a magical night with Prince Eric and everything else looks as it should. She's got her trademark red hair there and she even gets a bow and I don't know whether I like it on the top but we can't put it on the back. We can put it on the side and no, it just doesn't look quite right on the back so on the top it goes. So Ariel is all dressed for a lovely time out. Now we're going to check out Prince Eric. He has got on his royal boots and he's got on his lovely white casual shirt with a red cummerbund and he's got his customary black hair here. It's a little bit tousled. He looks absolutely lovely. They're both ready for a lovely night out. I'm not sure that the magic's holding very well on Ariel there. Let's start with the first part of the build. This is a little part out in the middle of the lagoon. It's a platform, a little resting rock for one teeny tiny creature. Let's see what that creature is. There's some flowers first. Of course there are flowers. There are always flowers. There we are. And no, you are not the teeny tiny creature that belongs up here, Ariel, so hop off. <laughs> and let's see, here it comes, a little frog, a little croaky frog. And maybe, hmm, if you give this frog a kiss, what will happen? Oh, there we go, you just magicked <laughs> Prince Eric out of that frog. That's entirely the wrong fairy tales. <laughs> So I think the frog should go back where it was. Now we have got a little boat that they can take out on the lagoon. Let's build this up so that it's got seats in it so they can sit and they can row and they can just have a wonderful, lovely time. There's one little bench and two little benches and a picnic basket. What are we going to put in there? A croissant. Very nice. So they can have a little picnic wherever they're headed to. And they're facing each other in the rowboat. It looks very romantic. There's even a heart on the front of the boat, a gem heart. And we might turn it around because we're going to get Eric to row. Uh, and the frog, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> I think the frog wants to be involved. Could you hop off frog? On the back is going to be a little flag. If I can get it into this very tight here we go let's squash it in that is a very tight fit that flag hole that flag pole there now it's got the flag on the top and that can wave behind them in the breeze as they row around the lagoon now we need some oars so one oar here two and we can put them into Prince Eric's hands there we are the croissant keeps falling out there now they're ready to row shall we try it out Oop, taking the frog rock for a bit of a ride too. <laughs> Oops, they're going around in circles. That looks like so much fun. But there's more building to do, so if you would all like to just move back a bit, we'll start on the next part. So we have a little round watery circle. We're building some, looks like maybe a tree. Oh, there's some water, a little bit of blue water. And I've put this on just the wrong spot. There we are. There's a very sweet little waterfall dribbling down the front of whatever this is, flowing down the front. <laughs> it might go slowly enough to be a dribble. It's definitely a tree. I can tell now because we're starting to put the foliage on and it's got hangy bits because it's part of the lagoon. Got some big hangy vines off it and some flowers. We have four of these all up. There we are. Four branches for our flower in the middle of the lagoon. There are two and three and one more and that looks super duper sweet that's absolutely lovely those oars are just getting in the way of everything you're gonna have to take a wide row around <laughs> around the tree Prince Eric but let's see what we have next now we have green and we have earth now and some brown Oh, 
and my favorite little showpiece there with an arch with all of the the pretty uh, patterning up in the top all the ornamentation and some viney bits some curly viney bits and a nice big flower there and a little seat it's a little gazebo that they can sit under let's see if they can snug in there together without pushing each other off it's not a lot of room there there would you like to have a nice seat there while we keep building you can have a chat you can get to know each other it's a good idea and some flowers and some very nice greenery to shade over the top of the gazebo and some very royal gold pieces and white over the top to make it finished off and there's a crown that's going to go here it's supposed to go on the seat it must be waiting there for when Prince Eric brings Ariel over here to this little seat in the gazebo and he can maybe present her with the crown that'd be very exciting so we'll have to do that soon but we've got to keep building This is going to jut out into the lagoon and this is where they're going to be able to moor the boat. It's a little boardwalk. I think I've put it on just the wrong spot there so we have to move it back a bit. There we are. So that's where they can moor the boat. They can come up to here and then they can hop off and they can go and they can sit down on the seat in the gazebo. There, that's how it will work. <laughs> but they're rowing away so I don't know quite what's happening now. We're still building. That's what's happening now. <laughs> and I've missed a few things on here. We need a few more of these little columns up the front. And of course we need a ladder so that they can get from the boat onto the boardwalk. And <laughs> I think I'm seeing things. We're up to bag number two. Let's see what is in bag number two. We are now starting on the palace, on Prince Eric's palace. So let's see how this takes shape and what they can do while they're there. I'm starting to get an idea of how this works. So the pastel yellow base plate is going to be the inside of the palace and on the outside here is all the blue, a little bit of the blue that reaches out into the lagoon and there is some bright green out there and I've put these sand coloured pieces on the wrong spot. They're going to be the stonework for the palace but they were just one stud over too far. There we go. That's better. Now we're going to start working on the inside of the palace. Oh, look, little transparent roundy bits. I wonder what we're going to put on them. This is so exciting. <laughs> it's taking shape very nicely at the moment. The inside here is very, very nicely symmetrical. I can sort of see what we're going to do now. I think these are going to be the seats. So let's see how they look on this fancy, fancy palace. They get a sticker, a little cushiony sticker with a sparkly star in the middle and a matching one because of course there are two of them. It wouldn't be very kind to leave one of them standing. So they're more than seats. They're almost thrones. Look at them. Look at that. Oh, Ariel's going to have a bit of trouble sitting down with, with her hairpiece there. And in the middle, maybe a table. I can see the table legs going in. Oh, and the table top just knocked Eric off. And wow, yes, Ariel is definitely now squished in there. <laughs> on the back of that chair is a nice little pointy gold piece. And on the back of the other chair is something different. They're different. Oh, that's got the little heart. So of course, that's going to be the special chair for Ariel if I can get her to fit on it. It's a very snug fit. She's going to have to stare down at the table. She does not look very comfortable. It's her hair piece. It's in the way. And a plate and two golden goblets. She might just have to stand up for now. And an apple. We just, print, <laughs> we just knocked Prince Eric off again. An apple and a banana for their royal banquet. That's very fancy. <laughs> oh dear. And we are going to have some flowers. There's one set of flowers. And two sets of flowers and they go on our poor Eric. He is just copping a beating at the moment. I keep knocking him over. And they're going on the little vases in the windows, in the big arched windows. 
They're almost bay windows and they look so pretty. I really, really like how they look, especially from the outside, so you can peek in through these big frames. They could stand in the window and they could be framed like pictures. All right, I'm being very poetic here. How about we start on some more of the building? Uh, one of the big smooth round white pieces, the curved white pieces, these are gonna be uh, large columns going around the side of the castle with the stickers on them, with the flowering vines going up. We've seen these in a lot of the Disney princess sets. Doesn't mean that I don't like them. I can, I'm more than happy to see them a lot because they really make the place look castly. I think I've just made up a word, castly. A big flower outside, another one on the front. This is all overlooking the water. And of course we need some little water splashes in there. All right, before we start on the second level, we have got to install a lamp so that they've got some light hanging over their banquet table. It's a charming bell flower lamp. It will make everything have just a wonderful glow while they're eating. <laughs> All right, up on the second level, there is not a huge amount. We're gonna put on a bit of the roof with some of these gold swirls. Very castly, there's my new word again. Uh, got these, that's just a bit wrong, there we go. Now it's right. Now it's very right. Another one of the curved white pieces and another sticker. This is going to be our centerpiece. It's got a little flower pot out there. <laughs> got a window flower pot. And on the side is a balcony. Just enough room up here for the two people, for Ariel and Prince Eric, to stand up here. And I wonder what the balcony is used for. Let's see. Whether it's just to go outside and get a bit of air. No, I knew there'd be another function for it. There's a telescope up here, so they can use that maybe to spy the frog out on the lagoon or to look out for Ariel's family maybe out in the ocean. It'd have to be a pretty good, <laughs> pretty good telescope for that. We've got some flags up now. It looks like we are getting to the end of the build. So flags are on, the gold scrolling is on. We're finished. This is the whole thing. That's a very romantic castle, so I think they might need to have a royal banquet inside. This is going to be a wonderful date for Prince Eric and Ariel. A lovely first time. And here they are, and they've heard something through the window. I'm sure you heard something. Oh, it was just a frog outside making croaking and splashing. Didn't look anything like a mermaid at all. All right, up onto the balcony and they can have a little look through the telescope which we just built. And what can you spy? You can see this little gazebo. So if Prince Eric would like to row Ariel out to the gazebo, can even take a croissant in a picnic basket for a bit of a snack if they get hungry. Off they go, a nice leisurely row. Here we are, here's the boardwalk and slowly they come in. Now, when is this magical kiss going to happen? Is it going to be now? This is a very romantic moment, I think, when he helps her out of the boat. They're looking into each other's eyes. But no, they've still got to sit here under the gazebo and get to know each other a little bit better before they, oh, okay, we're having some major commitment now. It looks like Eric is presenting Ariel with a crown. He's asking her to be his queen. I think this might be the perfect moment for a magical kiss. <laughs> there we are, it happened. And even the frog was here for this magical moment, this all important moment in Ariel's life and her future. They look as though they are going to be very, very happy together. Well, they'd better go back and announce to the family that they're going to get married. It's very exciting. There's going to be a royal wedding. Uh, I think I just saw Ariel as a mermaid. How peculiar. That's really very strange. Please don't forget to subscribe. Do click like, check out some of my other silly videos, and I think I'm going to have to go back and watch this video again because some very strange things seem to be happening in it. I don't know, what did you see?